Hey guys, what's up? Well, I got the spiders, so let's have a look at them. So before I go on to the uh, transfer videos for both of them, we'll uh, give you a little short review of their enclosures. Uh, as you know, uh, here is the trapdoor spider. I don't know what it looks like. And it's, uh, I think it's hiding in that little uh, Tupperware. This is not how you keep a trapdoor spider. And also, Vicalaria Vicalaria Pinto. And uh, I'll put it in a little deli container and see if we can try to sex it to see if it's a female or not. Anyway, so I have two enclosures here. So I guess we'll start off with this one. Uh, this is your typical uh, Rubbermaid one gallon jar that I got from Walmart for around $5. So it's caged up is what you see right here. It's very simple. It uh, has some potting soil. I think I put a bit too much in there, but I think it should be fine. Uh, she has cork bark, so she can climb and uh, build some web tubing, so she has a little space there, and a water dish. And make sure you drill a lot of holes here on the side, around the corners, and on the top as well, because you really need a lot of ventilation for it to survive well. See, I, would, I wouldn't mind buying Avix around this size, they're much more easier to take care of than slings, so pfft. Amy was my last uh, Avix sling that I'm ever going to buy. Yeah, that sucks. And for the trapper spider, um, the guy tells me it's a brown or one inch plus, so all you really need to do is get a little tall deli container, such as this, fill up a lot of potting soil. So what the spider is going to do is that he's going to dig a burrow, and uh, he'll form a little trapdoor. So hopefully in one of my future vitting videos, uh, maybe this one, maybe not, we'll find out, uh, you'll see a grab a cricket. So, so without further ado, let's get on with the transfers. Alrighty, so I have an extra battery just in case something happens. Alright, so now let's transfer the Vicalera Vicalaria, the South American Pinto. Highly recommended uh, tarantula to handle if you're into arboreals. Uh, pink toes are probably the only arboreal that you can handle. Uh, some of Polis, uh, Tapnikinius, and Dorito palma uh, species, I really don't recommend you handling them because uh, they're unpredictable and uh, you don't want to uh, get bitten by the species. Anywho, so uh, here's a pink toe. Well, it looks like a fair size. Come on, sweetie. See, look how cute she is. I don't know if it's a female or not, so that's why I have this in there. Okay. These are famous for squirting poop, so hopefully uh, she doesn't do it. Hey, you. Come on. Oh, that's it. Here she is. Look at that. Isn't she just beautiful? Yeah, she's doing a little exploratory bite. Anyway, so let me get her in the uh, container, see if I can try to uh, sex it to see if it's a male or a female. Well, hot dog, look at this. Here's your sperm sac, or your epigastric furrow. This one's a female, sweet. This is probably the second AVIC that I own uh, that ends up being a female. Remember Megan? So I got another one. Every time I ever get Avix, they all end up being mature male. So, this is really cool. Alrighty then, now, going on with the transfer. Hope you can see. Maybe I'll give a little handling video. Come on, Lita. Yeah, I'm going to name her Lita. Oh, you 
just saw her jump. Here she is. Pretty cute, isn't she? I don't know if you saw that little jump there that she did. Alright, so this is a good... Good size, one gallon. Very, very sweet. As I said, if you're into arboreals and want docile, handleable ones, highly recommend the species. As adults, don't get slings because some of them are really hard to take care of, but she's fine. And for the trapdoor spider, oh, this is going to be really interesting because I haven't had one in about six years. <laughs> I'm dying to know what size it is and uh, what species it is, so we'll open it up and we'll see. Now it's in that cocoon, so <clears throat> I'm going to have to pry it open and uh, see what we find. As soon as I opened up the cage, she went a-flying. Holy crap, this is one fast spider. There, look at her. Look at, look at this go. Holy crap. This is like pokey speed. Okay, you really don't want to handle the species because this is an extremely venomous species. Very, very highly aggressive too. So you don't want to get your eggs in a basket. Oh, no, 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 no. Holy crap. Thank God this species is in climb. There we go, she's in the threat posture. <laughs> Sweet. Judging by the way it looks, uh, I don't know what this could be. I would say uh, Gorgella species, possibly. And uh don't know if it looks like a female or not. Not entirely sure. It looks very similar to a tarantula, but it's not. Uh, try to... See from the abdomen, the ventral shot, I don't think this will come out clear as the avic. But, uh... I don't know, I'd say it's a female. <sighs> wow, very own first trapdoor in about six years. Alright, let's get this puppy inside this enclosure. if I do it this way. Go really close. And she might come and run in. And there you go. Alright, so I'll post some pictures and I uh, hope you enjoy the video. Alright, so I'm going to name her Tara, I believe. Don't know, so share this moment, guys. This is probably the last video where we're going to ever see it up in the open. So what they'll generally do is uh, dig a deep burrow and we'll make a little trapdoor. This is why I put a lot of deep substrate in here in a little deli container. Should be fine. So those are my new additions. A black trapdoor spider, Gryagola species, Gryagala species, I think, don't know, and a Vicularia Vicularia, female, second time. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed it. Peace.